We'll just begin with this uh, shorter writing task. This is from 2008 question paper. Uh, we are sat question paper. And this is the shorter writing task, which carries 20 marks. And in 20 marks, uh, you are supposed to get four marks for your spelling. Mm -hmm. All right. So let me give you the, uh, the criteria for getting the highest mark, what they expect you to do. Uh, you're supposed to use a range of sentences like it should be a mixture of complex compound and simple sentences okay and uh, again first of all what is the question would you be able to read that first um, sure. <coughs> <coughs> in the mm -hmm. school hall, but your head teacher is not sure it is a good idea. Considering what happened last year, okay. you need to write a le letter be uh, on behalf of your year group to persuade the head teacher to give you permission. Your classmates make some suggestions for what you write. Okay. Say what arrangements you'll make. Give reasons why we deserve it. Promise uh, we will behave well and make things go smoothly. Okay, so uh, when you get a question, the first thing you have to do is to tap it. What what does it mean? Tapping the question means yeah. find. Is it like text, audience, and purpose? So could you tell me? Could you tap it now? What is the text? What are you supposed to do? Um, write a letter to the head teacher, convince, persuading them to give you permission to hold a um, and. Uh, uh, end of tail party. Okay, that's right. So, text is the letter, a formal letter, audience is your head teacher, and purpose is persuasive writing. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, these are the things that you have to keep in mind. So, what, how should you write it? The text, um, the letter? Um, because how could you add formality Form to your writing? Um, don't use abbreviations like don't or didn't. That's right. Um, and uh, will past tense or I mean passive voice or active voice? You know about both uh, kinds of voices. So, yeah. which will be suitable for uh, formal uh, writing? Passive. That's right. So this is what. Uh, they are giving you as the criteria for best for attaining better marks mm -hmm. so try reading that range of sentences deploying to deploy to give clarity and emphasis and add to the overall persuasiveness of the letter shifts between a variety of verbs forms are secure using passive and impersonal constructions to convey formality like suitable arrangements <laughs> uh, this could be a, an ideal sentence structure uh, suitable arrangements for the party are to be made so that is a passive sentence but still it's formal mm -hmm. in the letter you can use this sentence this is a model sentence uh, it's not mandatory for you to use the same but this is a model suitable arrangements for the party are to be made because it is more formal compared to this sentence. If I say, uh, we have made suitable arrangements for the party. Mm -hmm. We will make, okay, so instead of that, if you say suitable arrangements of the party are to be made, it is more formal. Yeah. Okay, so make sure that you use such uh, write such sentence structures in your passive writing. So keep this in mind. Okay. Or combinations of models to enhance the formal effect. Like, uh, you don't have to worry about these technical terms, but still you can use these kind of sentence structures. We would be truly grateful if you could consider proposition, uh, I mean a, a proposal or proposition. Okay. So, make sure that you use these kinds of sentence structure because that add formality to your writing and uh, you should use 
uh, the punctuation mark dash in that dash is quite a form quite an informal punctuation but in your story you could use dash because that is yeah. okay so keep those things in mind these things really carry marks in your um, case 3 exam then uh, the next thing about punctuation is punctuation mark. Next point is about punctuation marks. This is what they are giving you. Full range of punctuation used to clarify meaning and sometimes to create particular effect. So show off to the examiner that you know how to use colon and semicolon and uh, such complicated punctuation marks. It should be a show off, but that uh, the examiner shouldn't be bored at seeing a lot of columns and semicolon. But there should be moderate use of that. Whenever you use, you have to use it correctly. Okay. Then composition. The next thing is about composition and effect. Composition and effect. This is uh, what they are asked you to do regarding the composition and overall effect. Mm -hmm. Let me just give you that on the next board. Letter is skillfully adapted. Can you see that? Yeah. Adapted with effective selection and sequence of ideas <coughs> and var or variation of tone to persuade the head teacher. So like you said your purpose is to persuade your head teacher and so the ideas should be sequenced in a way that the head teacher should feel that moral pressure so the, this is an example this is a model sentence I'm sure you will make the right choice for the students this could be a model sentence so if you write this the you are not uh, di directly forcing the head teacher, but you are pressurizing him yeah. with a respectful manner or humor. Then the viewpoint express takes account of the range of issues that would concern the head teacher. So when you write that, make sure that you could think in the point of view of the head teacher. Take, uh, think about the things that, that would concern him. Okay, and um, like cost, safety, behavior, organization, organization of the party, refreshments for the night are going to be bought in bulk so that we don't spend all of school's money. We currently have a group of pupils working on advertising, including the creation of tickets, poster, and manner. Appropriate range of stylistic features used to persuade um, so stylistic features like the correctly usage of formal, polite uh, constructions of sentences like you have to use could I please ask again that you consider a request. So make sure that your talk or your writing is quite formal and polite. And spelling, spelling you have to uh, virtually all spellings should be correct. That is the criteria the best amount. So this is what you have with you. Uh, but uh, let me show you an example of a sentence which carries the lowest of the band score. So that you shouldn't follow that. Yeah. Let me just show you that. This is an example they have given which carries the lowest. Mm -hmm. It is not separated into different paragraphs. There is a punctuation mistake here. I'm writing to ask you for your permission for an end term party. We will arrange all we have to make sure that it starts before all lessons have we finished before we let the come in, let people come in. Just glance through that. Uh, but you will notice that all the points are there, but it's the way the problem is the way it's been arranged. Just go through that and find out the problems there. And there is spelling mistake, 
grammar mistake make sure that you don't write in such a manner probably sorry um, on anything you got it? It carries only two marks out of um, 20. Okay. Then again, I'll show you something which carries, which is slightly better than that. It carries only three marks, but still. Sorry, the it's it starts with from here. Something else is it starts from here, okay. This is the second paragraph. <laughs> but still it carries just one more mark than the first one. Let me show you the next example. Something which carries um, seven marks. because it is more detailed and more uh, organized the logical arrangement the usage of colon semicolon everything matters the style let me show you the one with the highest marks first last I think after that we will discuss the other things it's really long compared to the other so it will tell you how to write those it's difficult to get this on the board range of sentence structures what does it mean um, like use complex sentence compound and something like a variation uh, I just keep on using one sentence yeah, again, you have to use questions in between since it's going to be persuasive. This is the one which has got the highest, but still um, it's not complete. I just have some more to paste on. <coughs> You're not supposed to use your address, your real name on the exam uh, answer sheet. Okay, can you see that on the board now? Just glance through that. You're supposed to write, not, you're not supposed to copy this, but you have to get the idea of writing the real way of, I mean, the real person's letter to your head teacher. After that, I'll show you a storyboard and uh, we'll show you how to write stories. Would you read that a bit aloud? Definitely, de uh, definitely deserves this treat. Treat. Everyone's see, uh, see the usage of semicolon. Mm -hmm. Everyone's usage, appropriate usage of apostrophe. Everyone's behavior has improved. Okay, continue. Um, 